Oh hey, welcome back. As you all know, we thrift a lot on this channel and one of my more unfortunate hoarder-like thrifting habits is to thrift for others. So over the course of the last two years since seeing a very specific friend of mine, I've been filling this bag with things that said friend might like. And now it's a few days after Christmas. I'm a little bit late, but I'm gonna show up with my big blue Santa bag and deliver this late Christmas present. Stick around, Tendo Texas edition. Okay, how much does it cost to drive a smart car from Texas to Kentucky? I put 28 in the gas tank before I left, and I just put another 20 in now. See, boom. And uh, that's probably gonna get me most of the way there. I'm not quite halfway there at the moment, but I also didn't use all my gas. Normally, I use a debit card to pay for gas, but this trip, uh, this trip we're doing the old classic cash wad, so I can't quite accurately fill up the tank because you just gotta give them a $20 bill so that you don't go over and have to go back inside and get your change. About $25 to fill up here in Arkansas. I'm actually going to uh, stop halfway to where I'm going. At a friend's house, gonna have dinner there and sleep for the evening and then... Uh... Yeah, let me see what it looks like on the inside of there. Yeah, see, I mean, I'm, see the I'm six foot seven. I mean, I still got headroom, it's all right. Yeah, a little, little toy ain't in mine. Yeah, it's goofy, but I'm telling you, 40 miles a gallon. You can't beat that. I, I'm driving from Kentucky to Texas today. It's only like 60 bucks. All right, Tim. Everywhere you go, everyone's intrigued. Yeah, I'm stopping halfway uh, before I get to my ultimate destination. So my day's actually almost over today, and then the real festivities start tomorrow. It is the next day, and I'm still a couple hours away from where I'm going. And I got lucky because I'm at Bucky's. And I almost never, when traveling, time it right to when I need gas to stop at Bucky's. So here we are. Actually, wait a second, we gotta go back to the car. I just realized something. This whole trip, I've just been throwing $20 bills in this car. It's from empty, it's like 30 bucks probably in premium gas. But again, not having a debit card. I've just been winging it, 20 bucks. Bucky's Fresh Potato Chips. Oh, there's a spider right here below my camera. Oh, it's on it. And a tiny little meat tray. Sounds like lunch to me. I love stopping at Bucky's. Honestly, I'd say it's a reason to come to Texas, but they've built like three of them in Kentucky, so that's not necessarily true. Okay. Another two, two and a half hours to get to where I'm going. And then the driving's over for a little while. Okay, I'm at my destination, so let's go deliver this present. I'm not gonna knock, I'm just gonna go in. Carmen, you want to get the bag, meow meow? What's up, baby? Excuse me, meow meow. I have a delivery to make. I got you a bag full of things. Oh, and by the way, it's Ivan. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, this is all the stuff. Yeah, just dump it out. I've spent a whole year thrifting and filling a bag full of things for you. As many of these as I could find. Hell yeah. And then I don't know if you give a darn you about these. these. At, the, at the thrift? I think someone gave them to me. <laughs> and to be honest, there's one more somewhere that's bigger, but I don't know. Maybe it's in the car. But. 
this? I think it's uh, mega. The, what's the miniature ones? Oh, micro machines. I think it, I thought it had something to do with that. I don't know. Some of it might be nonsense. Just throw I it away. Think so it's Galoob. That's cool. Yeah. Yes. I don't break it. Oh, that's a nice little uh, yeah. display piece. For sure. Oh yeah, you could stack a couple yeah. levels. Oh, oh yeah. That's cool. That was from Phoenix. Actually, a lot of this is from Phoenix. A lot of it made it back. I think. Isn't that my, more micro machine stuff? Maybe. I don't know. Some it's of it's tight. useless. Some of it's useless. Just donated back no, to. All this track stuff is good. Yeah. Don't you already have a few of these? Yeah. Yeah. As soon as we started talking about them, they started showing up, or I started paying attention. Right. Yeah. Well, oh, this is cool. This is like a little micro machine car wash. Yeah. Oh my when God. we first started talking about it and you started collecting it, I found like that and several other little pieces all at once and then nothing since. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. So where are we going, Ivan? The bins. The bins in Dallas. Got the bins in Austin. There are two of them. And we're going to the southernmost one. Yes. And we may hit the other one on the way back, but we don't know yet. You guys have been to this one or haven't? We haven't been to this one. We've been to the north one. Okay, well, brand new bins for everybody today. Stick around. You guys know how things are. You can't really run up in a good little bins. Camera's blazing. It's kind of frowned upon. So I'm gonna go in here and check things out, and then we uh, we'll try to talk about it as we can. But this is a big old store. I'm not sure where the entrance is. I've seen a lot of people leaving without enough, without anything. So maybe it's not a good sign. We'll see. What are you looking for, Ivan? I don't know. You don't know, Monique? What are you looking for? Good chingaderas. Some good chingaderas. Can I put that on YouTube without bleeping it? I think so. Okay. Go ahead and ask a question, I dare you. Uh, is this video going to go viral? What does it say? I can't see it. It says, my reply is no. <laughs> Real? <laughs> well, there's a Rubik's. Over here? Yeah. I want this patch, but someone just glued it. Oh, it's coming off. Together, we may be the best. Don't rip. Please don't rip. All right. Yes. Nah, I won't rip. Oh, go for it. There you go. Texas patch is mine. I don't want the rest. This is a nice bag though. Yeah. Some nice syringes. We think about the Hufflepuff bear. <laughs> Build a bear, isn't it? That's cool, yeah. Yeah, I might get that and old R2D2. But I wanted this other shoe, but. That would be a good shoe. It's my, well, it's a little small for me, but electronic drum pad. Do you have any idea who that is? Um, I want to, yes. This is from uh, He-Man, I think. Really? Or She-Ra Adventures, one of the, like the later oh. iterations. Do you, do you want it? Yes, uh, take it okay. with you. Okay, I'll get it and give it to you when we get home. And then I just wanted to check this. Oh, of course it's Thomas. It's all Thomas, no thanks. All right. Oh yeah, they're the best thing I found today, for sure. Seriously? It's that, I've got the camera. Oh, there was another pack somewhere else. Of that? Oh, yeah. You think maybe we saw it What'd you get, Monique? I got a cool cutting mat. Ooh, and it's fist cars. Yeah. What else? I found these Jeffrey Campbell Free People collabs. Oh, wow. Aren't they cool? They're so goth. And That's a bunch awesome. of random stuff. 
That's cool. The main thing I got was R2D2, I think. He's huge. Yeah. I've been lost. He didn't get anything. What are you talking about? I got a, uh, a Riddler Lego minifig. Oh, did you? And a uh, Calvin and Hobbes book. Very nice. I dig it. All right, well, success. Yeah. We went on ahead and done it and drove to a second Goodwill outlet. Is there even a, yeah, Goodwill. And uh, we'll see how the two compares. It's always interesting when a town has two Goodwill outlets because they're usually wildly different somehow. Yeah, agree. Agree. Hard yes. agree or soft agree? Hard agree. Hard. Monique, what is wrong with Ivan? I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't figured it out. I was stopping him from running. Yeah. It's all closed. Also, I think I'm gonna buy this giant glow-in-the-dark treasure chest. Though there's like a key. I actually saw a smaller one of these at the other one. And I was like, it's too small, but this is this is big enough for me to fill with my booty. But the, I need a key. I don't know, maybe a normal skeleton key will well, just turn it. Well, that's the thing is you gotta go on a journey to find the key. Oh, so I can't leave here until we find the key? Yeah. Not a bad Goodwill bins. I wouldn't mind coming when uh, they're not about to close because they're closing like right now. Where did we park? Uh, we got what, like 20 minutes? 20, before, 20, the, 20 minutes? before the before clock strikes 12 and you turn back into a pumpkin. <laughs> before we go wrap up this video, we're going to start a new tradition because it's actually New Year's Eve for us and uh, we're like 20 minutes away from the new year. We're going to be at Bucky's every year for the rest of our lives on the new year. Deal? Okay. Yeah, you swore to it. <laughs> Look like normal. Do you want the Bucky sign in there? Yeah, dude. All right, look, look right here. Normally when we're here, there's cars at every single gas pump and it's just packed, but we're like one of about 20 people here. I'm telling you, I hope they hand out like a commemorative pin or something. Thanks for being here. It's the new year. That would be nice. Something special better happen. Like Bucky himself better like kick himself out from behind the Coke machines or something. <laughs> Just an explosion of beaver nuts. What are they called? Beaver nuggets. Beaver nuggets. <laughs> now that is a big old Bucky. I wonder if he's for sale. He's so five big. Minutes. Hello, Mr. Bucky. Five minutes. What's five minutes? Oh, five minutes to go? Yeah. Oh, no. It's 2023. That's not real. Let's go to the front. Yeah, let's go. Run, because it's coming. <laughs> they were right on it. Happy New Year, guys. Happy 2023. Do it again. Do it again. Happy I didn't get it. Kind of. Well, it was a bunch of white college girls. A bunch of white college girls. <laughs> they, 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 they can't go to the bar yet. Yeah. So they're at Bucky's. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bucky didn't pop out of the truck or nothing, but uh, it's all right. Well, here we go, guys. Big plans. What are your big plans for 2023? Um, I have no idea. You answer first, and then I'll answer. Health, possibly babies. Oh, you heard it here. We'll see. <laughs> I think uh, I'm gonna try to travel a lot more. Travel a lot more. All right. Um, Find a new girlfriend. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. You know what? I'm gonna go get myself some brisket sandwiches or tacos, and then I think tomorrow we'll come back. And it'll still gonna, be 2023 tomorrow. It'll still be 2023. It actually, it's today. Later today, we're going to go to Waco and go to the bins, maybe? Maybe? Yeah, I maybe. hope so. All right. All three of us left with New Year burritos. Does that mean that uh, it's going to bring us burritos for the rest of the year? Heck yeah. Could you eat a burrito every day for the rest of the year? Probably. Because you know us. Us, us could. Us could. Yeah, you could. <laughs> us could totally. All right, Ivan, what's the best thing you got? Because for me, it's got to be old R2 here. Gargantuan. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know yet. I got to look at my stuff again. Oh, rip on that arm. It's custom DIY. Oh. I, I, I've, been, I've been picking up a bunch of like broken toys and stuff, so I can make some customs. Nice. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese. That's got to be vintage. Yeah, hope, hopefully. Now I found some... Uh, Transformer pieces. Super vintage. So somebody put those back. What's the bulldozer looking thing? Oh, this is a, um, what's Paw Patrol? Oh, I okay. thought it was pretty cool though, so. Yeah, it's metal, it's isn't it? It's die cast, yeah. It's metal. 
Uh, sweet rye right there. I don't know what else I got. I forgot. Oh yeah, Sonic TV. Oh yeah. With the Sega on top. That's awesome. This is 1994. Check out this CIB gold nugget here. You can dig in there and there's a chance of there being a fool's gold pyrite uh, nugget inside. What the hell? What the hell? Right. I found that right before we left the bins. Oh yeah, here's your toy. Oh yeah, my toy. Straight to it, straight to it. I could be totally, you know what? I think this is, no, I think I was right. I don't know, I'd have to look it up. All right, we'll show it to the camera. Comment below if you know what this is because we have no idea. We're, we're not gonna look it up right now. Uh, yeah. If you know what this is, comment below. Do you know? No idea, I just know it's branded uh, Kenner Parker Toys, 1989. Wow, it, it's obviously not. It's pretty cool there. though. That's crazy. And this comes out, so. That's cool. I got, yeah, I showed most of the stuff I got already. I, the, frustratingly, when I found this, they were just about to take that bin away. Yeah. There could have totally been more of these in and I totally would have bought them. But if you don't know, this is a drum trigger pad. Do you even see where the audio input output goes? Oh, right here. So yeah, cable goes in there into a drum machine and this triggers it. You bought that? I got it because I'm gonna paint them. So no, so. I said that very condescendingly. You really bought that? No, <laughs> I just, I saw you pick it up, but I thought you'd put it back. I'm gonna repaint it, some gold leaf on it. I don't know, I'll just ideas, it. ideas. You want to give me your best guess as to what I bought? A bag full of that just kind of looks bad on its own. Uh, this is this sort of thing ain't my bag, baby. A bag full of these four? Turkey? You know, I I had a smaller set of them I bought off Amazon for transferring like uh, ink. I was making my own oh, ink cartridges right, right, basically, uh -huh. and I always needed a bigger one for like black ink and stuff. So I'll have these in my in my kit if I need yeah. them. The blank ink one does need to be bigger. Yeah. Uh, Monique! I forgot about this. It's probably fine of the day. I haven't found it. It's a little poly whirl, poly wrath. Measuring tape. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I got this too. Kevin Rob. Oh, yeah. I think you showed this. Maybe. We'll show it again. And of course, I bought the treasure chest. I've said in several episodes before that I've got a bunch of jewels and coins and stuff you guys have seen me buy over the years. And Adam Savage from Tested has a, 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 a treasure chest in his shop where he just keeps jewels and stuff. So like if he's building something and needs to bedazzle it, he goes and gets it out of that box. So that's why I bought this. And then uh, I think I bought a little Minecraft cow. And I bought this for my father. I think he'll like it. It's like a sock to put over your rifle. Very specific, right? And then uh, last thing I bought, I'm actually pretty pumped about this, and I'm pretty sure that's Iduasha's brother, right? Comment below if you know, because I'm 99% sure. Uh, but yeah, it's just a really old poster. So, it's gonna go home in the treasure chest. Okay. <laughs> Come here, Orphy. I found the on switch. Uh-oh. <laughs> Where are you going, R2? <laughs> Whoa! R2, do something cool! <laughs> Do you have anything to say? Um, I got cat grass for Orphe and she loves it. Oh, she does. She's Let's show. It. I don't know if Orphe's gonna let me approach, but before we say goodbye, we can we can say hello to Orphe because she's the bestest kitty. Oh, oh, hello, Orphe. Say goodbye. <laughs> kiss, kiss. <laughs> <laughs>